Okay, so we've seen a constant pattern in his throwing ability or throwing skill. We're gonna try and analyze it and correct it in the best way in the best way we've seen fit. Um, the reason why I chose this skill is because he's a soccer player, which is more predominantly um, based on your legs and footwork and not necessarily handwork. Okay, so from now on we will try and correct his form. Okay, so I want you to analyze or think about this. You need to transfer your weight from the back foot on towards your front foot, okay? So, if you stand towards the ball, I want you to face the ball quickly. Okay, so your right leg will be at the bot at the back part of the ball. There we go. And the, your non-dominant leg will face towards wherever you're going, okay? There we go, with your feet placing out. So this will create some space for your hips to go through, okay? Okay, so from there on, I want you to grip the ball, and therefore, grip the ball with your dominant hand at the back side of the ball, over the ball. So place your dominant hand on the back side. Like, like, there like we here, go. Like here. In the back side, yes. Okay. And your non-dominant hand on the front side, in front of the ball. Yeah. There we go. So, I want you to focus on your dominant hand flicking over the ball, okay? So I want you to turn the wheel with your right, with your right hand, okay? There we go. So turning the wheel, and also from that position, I want you to transfer your weight whenever you're throwing the ball from your back leg onto your front leg and then also pushing the ball away from you while you are um, flicking the ball or flicking your wrist and keep your hands towards your target, okay? I want you to face your target when you're done and point at your target whenever you release the ball, okay? So do that for me and we will correct when whatever we, we see important times for me as well okay here we go same with that wrist let that wrist come over the ball okay not underneath the ball your, your non-dominant hand will just Guide the ball to where, to, towards where it needs to go. Here we go. Just make sure that you're spinning it your way. Okay, so the spin needs to come to you. Your hand needs to come to you while your non dominant hand is throwing the ball to where it needs to go. Here we go, that's better. Some improvement made. And the last one we can do. There we go. Okay. So what we've noticed is there's a, a huge increase in power and accuracy seeing that the ball is at least going towards the target. Not necessarily on target all the times, but at least towards the target. So that therefore there is improvement made and therefore there is something to work with. Okay, thank you.